ladies, Dr. Nats here. Hari ni kita akan borak tentang topik yang ramai request untuk saya explain. Retinol. Retinoids, vitamin A, adakah mereka ni sama ataupun tak sama? So, let's get started. Okay, retinoids adalah umbrella term. Bawah retinoids ada beberapa group and contoh retinoids adalah retinol. Tretinoin, isotretinoin, adapalin, tazarotin, so on. They are all vitamin A. And the gold standard of retinoids adalah tretinoin, iaitu retinoid acid. They are 100 times more effective, more efficient than retinol. The problem with retinoids is that they are very unstable and they akan break down when exposed to the light. That's why kita suggest bila kita ada produk retinoids, kita suggest untuk pakai pada waktu malam just before tidur. Produk yang mengandungi retinoids seperti yang I mentioned tadi, retinol, adapalin, bila kita apply to our skin, dia akan absorb masuk dan converted to retinoid acid. So retinoid acid is actually the active form yang akan memberikan positive feedback ataupun kesan positif kepada kita punya kulit. Ada beberapa group people yang tak boleh pakai retinoids ataupun ambil suplemen yang mengandungi vitamin A. Mereka yang breastfeeding ataupun pregnant lady. Pesen yang ada masalah skin seperti rosacea and eczema, they must be careful when using vitamin A because they can cause irritation. Now let's move on to the benefits of retinoid. So retinoid is like everything you can get a lot of benefits that's why it's become popular nowadays retinoid so number one they can increase cell turnover meaning they can percepatkan proses penyalinan kulit kebiasaannya proses penyalinan kulit terjadi dalam masa 30 hari tapi bila kita semakin berumur the process makin lama makin lambat up to 60 days jadi bila kita apply vitamin A serum dia akan percepatkan proses up to 14 to 20 days. Bila kulit mati kita buang tanggal, kita punya kulit akan nampak glowing, akan nampak fresh, tak nampak kusam. Number two, dia akan reduce the sweat gland punya size, dia akan reduce oil production. Hence, bila tak banyak minyak yang dihasilkan, pori kita akan mengecil. Number three, dia akan reduce bacteria yang menyebabkan jerawat iaitu P. acne. Hence, Bila you pakai retinoid such as adapalin dekat you punya jerawat, jerawat you akan kejut. Okay, next one, vitamin A serum is very good because dia boleh treat sun damage seperti pigmentation, seperti fine lines and also wrinkle. What are the side effects ataupun negative effect bila you pakai vitamin A serum ataupun you overdose vitamin A? Uh, okay, untuk serum, vitamin A can be irritative. Dia boleh menyebabkan kulit you irritated, sensitive and also drying. But that's why bila you pakai vitamin A serum, you make sure kena apply uh, moisturizer. And the next day, you have to apply a sunscreen because vitamin A can cause photosensitivity. Okay, untuk supplements, uh, vitamin A supplements, for example, you have very bad acne, severe acne, dermatologist akan prescribe ubat what we call it as acutin. So acutin ni, dia ada banyak side effects. For example, dia boleh menyebabkan hair loss, dia boleh menyebabkan headache, nausea and other GI symptoms and if you are pregnant, it can affect your baby as well. And another thing, dia boleh impact you punya liver function. I nak share dengan you all tips macam mana nak start guna retinoid especially bagi mereka yang beginner. Okay, tips number one, uh, you must go slow meaning kena start dengan lower concentration dulu and the frequency pun you kena once or twice per week sahaja and slowly you uh, tengok dia punya reaction, any irritation and you gradually increase the concentration and also the frequency. Okay, tips number two, what you can do is you have to stop all the acids. Contoh macam uh, AHA, BHA like gl uh, glycolic acid, uh, lactic acid or salicylic acid. Malam tu, you stop all the acids just 
retinoids supaya kita nak monitor the irritation okay and this also can reduce the risk of getting irritation alright tips number three is you use at night okay just before bed because retinoid is very unstable and they akan break down bila terkena lights cahaya so that's why kita suggest guna pada waktu malam sahaja alright tips number four dia ada dua cara pemakaian sama ada you letak moisturizer dulu kemudian you pakai you punya retinoids ataupun you boleh mix your retinoids dengan moisturizer ini untuk beginner uh, once your skin you rasa ok uh, you boleh pakai retinoids kemudian baru moisturizer yang penting you kena moisturize sebab retinoids ni boleh mengeringkan ok next I akan tunjukkan macam mana cara I pakai and uh, this apply to beginner juga so number one I akan pakai eye cream so sebelum ni I ada share this is my eye cream from Estee Lauder ok ini untuk protect sometimes you over excited kan you apply retinoids dekat mata area that can cause irritation because eye area is the thinner skin tau so you gonna be careful ok lepas dah pakai eye cream you have to apply Vaseline untuk dekat lips sama juga lips pun you have to protect sebab kalau retinoid kena dekat you punya bibir dia boleh menyebabkan kering so usually I akan apply uh, I lebihkan sikit dekat tepi-tepi ni tepi-tepi bibir sikit kan the uh, corner tu right so how I pakai I ada dua jenis this one is ada palin 0.1% and this one is uh, retinol from skin cuticle 0.5% so for beginner i suggest you guna retinoid dulu you mix with uh, moisturizer yang tak ada active ingredient so this is my endo care gel cream i akan mix dua ni so first i akan ambil